Your e-bike's designed to be ridden hard and fast every single day, and in turn, it can take quite a hammering out there. Your components can feel pretty tired, your frame can look pretty tired. So today's video, taking a look at how you can get your e-bike looking and feeling brand new. The chain is one of the most important parts of your e-bike and keeping on top of the maintenance of the chain is really key to avoid premature wear, the cassette, chain ring and all the other drive items. And you only need a few items to keep on top of that and that is a chain cleaner or a chain bath. You simply fill this up with degreaser, clamp that on your chain, pedal it backwards or forwards and that way it's going to clean the chain as well as degreasing it at the same time. A really helpful tool. You can do it with a a spray and a paintbrush and things like that but it's quite a dirty job and this thing keeps all that uh, gunk from your chain and all the horrible stuff all in one place so that's a real essential tool chain bath <laughs> next up is obviously going to be the degreaser which you're going to put in the chain bath or you can simply spray this on and apply it with a rag just be sure not to be over spraying it and contaminating the rear disc uh, with that because it's going to be howling and squeaking away and then lastly a decent chain loop you can get wet and dry lube, just make sure you're using the right lube for the right conditions. Simple maintenance, but can make your bike feel like brand new. The brakes on your e-bike are super important as well. You might find that the actual brake bite point might have decreased over, over time, so you're pulling your lever and it's coming closer to the handlebars. Now a really cheap way of getting those brakes back to brand new is by sticking a new set of pads in. We do is stick the pads in, reset the caliper as well, push the pads back. That way that it should restore all that power and the same feeling into that brake as when it was brand new. Now one of your first contact points on your e-mountain bike is going to be your grips. Now traditionally it can be either a lock-on grip or just a simple rubber slide-on grip. A really good upgrade and a real nice way of refreshing your cockpit is to stick a decent set of quality grips on there. It's going to increase the trail uh, riding experience, your grip's going to be a lot better, you're not going to get a lot more fatigue coming through the grips. It's just going to be a quality item. Once again, it can refresh that whole cockpit out, it can make your bike feel brand new. Now one thing you might experience when you're out riding trails is that the derailleur doesn't respond to the shifter just as it did when it was brand new. This is usually due to cable tension. Now all you need to do to adjust that uh, derailleur action is getting friendly with a barrel adjust adjuster on the shifter. So just add or decrease that tension in there by winding either the barrel out or in. So if you're struggling to shift up the gears then you need to add a bit of tension to that barrel adjuster or if you can't shift down then you need to decrease the amount of cable tension in there as well just fine tuning that is actually indexed so as soon as you move it you feel it click click so just do little clicks at a time and see which is working out and helping that derailleur action Now a rattly or creaking e-bike out on the trails is definitely not going to be making it feel brand new. So it's really worth checking a few basic bolts. Now the favourite stuff on e-bikes to come loose from my experience is chainring bolts, crank bolts, rear maxle and the disc bolts as well. You can find them floating around. Now also you get a lot of creaking coming from e-bikes, usually because you spend a lot of time in the saddle. So it's really worth checking the bolts on that as well and your handlebar and stem. When it comes down to the... Uh, detecting where that creek is coming from it can blow your mind sometimes you'd like constantly trying to find out where the hell is this creek coming from it's just a process of elimination you just go through seated pedaling you go through freewheel out of the saddle is that noise still happening does it happen when I sprint and pull on my handlebars just going through all those different motions and finding out where the hell that damn creek is coming from <music> A decent detailed clean on your e-bike can make it look brand new as well. It's just really worth trying to get a hold of a bike specific cleaning kit as well. You get like these little brushes that are going to get down into all these little nooks and crannies in your hubs, clean your spokes, rims, tires. Obviously things like silicon shine, polish on your frame can work wonders too. It can really bring up those matte black back to how it was when you picked that bike up from the bike shop brand new. Just be careful obviously if you are using silicon shine, things like that, you're not getting any drift or spray drifting across onto things that it shouldn't be on, like your brake rotors, things like that as well. But silicon shine can make all these black components look brand new. Mm. 
Sometimes when you get your e-bike out and hit the trails, the bike can feel pretty alien too. Sometimes it can be uh, a loss of air in the suspension system and all your sag has gone to pot. If you leave your bike sat around for a long time, naturally pressure can escape from the fork and the rear shock if you've got air units on there. So it's really worth checking that you haven't lost a lot of pressure and you've got increased sag. So you really need to get on your bike with your riding kit on, your riding pack. Just make sure you're sitting in that 25 to 30% sag area not below it because if you've got too much sag you're going to be getting loads of pedal strikes and the bike's going to be all raked out your head angles will be super slack bottom brackets can be really low and that bike is going to feel really nasty precise gear shifting and indexing on your rear derailleur on your e-bike is a must if you've got that thing skipping around and crunching around it isn't going to be a very nice experience now something you might experience when you are down shifting your derailleur might be a little bit slow to react to the shifter's movement. So basically it needs a new gear inner cable replacement. Now these are super cheap and it's a really good way of getting that crisp shifter back once again. All you need to do is whip the inner cable out of the outer cable. So you just undo it at the shifter end, pull the cable out, flush the outer gear cable through with some sort of lube or lubricant just to flush all the bits out you'll see a bit of a jet coming out the end of the outer cable and all you do is simply thread that inner cable back in adjust the rear derailleur back up so you've got crisp shifting once again with a nice smooth action Tubeless is great, but it does require some maintenance. A lot of people think it's a fit and forget product. If you've got tubeless sealant, you can ride for two years and not get a puncture. You might get lucky, but it does need a bit of a top up now and again. Now I like to top up my sealant every two to four months, depending on where I'm riding, how much I've been riding. So a really good way to check if you've got any sealant actually left in your tire. Whip the tire out of the bike, well the wheel out of the bike, give it a good shake and you should be able to hear some sealant actually sloshing around in the tire itself. Usually if you can't hear that there's any sealant in there, chances are it's all dried out and you're not gonna have any protection at all. So what you need to do is with a lot of the bottles, you can simply take the valve core out and top that sealant amount, uh, level up just by simply squirting it in through the tire valve or if you want to put a lot in you can simply unclip the tire bead top that sealant up it's really important you do it because if you've got no sealant you're going to get punctures so there you go i really hope you've enjoyed today's video on refreshing your ride and getting that bike riding like it's brand new once again if you want to stick around and check out another video check out perfect shifted down here by doddy really cool video that one don't forget, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. You can subscribe to EMBN by clicking the globe and also click that notification bell up there to receive a notification every time we upload a video so you don't miss out. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Drop some comments in the box below. We'll see you in the next one.